Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, March 12, 2011. This week, text paths made easy. Text paths are a feature that the software engineers of Photoshop have always reserved for the full version of Photoshop. If you're using elements, though, you can work around this by using paths created in the full version of the software. Patty Knox calls these text bytes, and they're a real time saver for both Photoshop and Elements users alike. The beauty of text bytes is that Patty has done all of the hard work for you. Begin by opening a new document or a piece of digital paper in Photoshop or Elements, and then open a text byte text path that you'd like to use. Select Window, Images, float all in windows in order to see both of them at the same time in the editing window. In the full version of Photoshop, choose Window Arrange Float All in Windows, and in older versions of the software, choose the word Cascade in place of Float All in Windows. Get the Move tool and Control click or on a Mac System Command click all of the layers of the text path template in the layers panel to select them and then drag the path template layers onto your open document. Drag the layers down into position on your scrapbook page and then you can close the text by template document. To change the text, double click the T icon here in the Layers panel to highlight the text and change your tool to the Type tool. In the Options bar across the top of the screen, choose a font and then choose a font style, size, and color all in the Options bar across the top of the screen. Begin typing to automatically replace the sample text. You may need to double click the T icon a second time after making your choices in the options bar. When you have finished typing your text, click the check mark to confirm it. Using text bytes adds pizzazz to your pages by making the text a design element, and using pre made text paths saves you the time and trouble of creating your own. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.